please give a very warm welcome today to Sinn Féin MEP for Ireland South, Leon Uriadda. One hundred years ago, our country was an unwilling part of the British Empire, where people had been subdued by penal laws, famine, coercion and lockouts. The Irish people were without real political representation and it became increasingly apparent that if the Irish people were to shape their destiny and secure their freedom, that they would need to take a stand. Ireland was Britain's first colony and provided the testing ground and blueprint for the crimes of British imperialism around the world. Destroy a people's sense of themselves, ban their language, ridicule their culture and deny their heritage. Pierce, of course, understood their tactics. Subdue the people, take their dignity and impoverish their children. Connolly knew what they were at. In 1915, Irish Republicans and Socialists were planning to make their stand against British imperialism and its native cheerleaders. The legacy of the Rising has been carried through the century by Republicans. We are dedicated to making the vision of Pierce and Connolly a reality. Sinn Féin will vindicate the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland. The words of the proclamation inform our mission and drive us towards crafting a real republic that pursues the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and cherishes all the children of the nation equally. We will not ignore, undermine or attempt to rewrite the legacy of 1916. We are not scared of the Republican and Socialist vision of the proclamation or of the programme of the First Dáil. For us in Sinn Féin, these are living documents and they are a guide to the type of republic that we want. Why are Fianna Gael and Labour so scared of celebrating 1916 and the proclamation of our Republic? They have utterly betrayed the vision of that document and they know it. They are right to be ashamed. For Fianna Gael, the hope unleashed in the 1916 is a threat. Fianna Gael represents the wealthy and the powerful. After the Civil War, when they sent many young Republicans to their graves and plots like this, Fianna Gael set about a counter-revolution imposing their conservative rule on a risen people whilst guarding the interests of the rich. Today they use the excuse of corruption and bad governance by Fianna Fáil to impose austerity on the Irish people. They act in the interests of the Irish and international capital, cutting spending on essential public services and piling unfair taxes and charges on already struggling families. And at the same time, huge public contracts are awarded to tax exiles. In Westminster, the Tory government is highlighting the undemocratic nature of partition by trying to impose their austerity on the North. The block grant to the Assembly has been cut by £1.5 billion already. In the Stormont House Agreement, we defended families with disabled children, adults with severe disabilities, the long-term sick and families living in poverty from the Tory welfare cuts. And we will continue to defend those who are most vulnerable. Austerity is anti-republican, anti-people and anti-equality. Sinn Féin stands against austerity north and south and indeed across the EU. It is economically counterproductive and our people are paying the cost. Decisions regarding the Irish economy should be made in Ireland, not in Westminster and not in Frankfurt. <coughs> 